it's story time. Let's remember where we left off in the book we're reading. Junie B. Jones is the graduation girl. Well, she was about to go back to school for graduation, but there was a little problem. Remember what that was? She spilled grape juice on the front of her gown, so she tried to hide it with her markers, her purple marker to make polka dots. Oh, well, let's see how that turns out. Chapter eight, getting ready. Room eight and room nine practiced for graduation together. We practiced on the stage in the auditorium because the stage is where people get diplomas, of course. Mrs. showed everyone how to walk up the steps without tripping. She played music for us to march to. And guess what? Room nine marched a little bit better than room eight marched, except for Polly Allen Puffer, who kept bowing real silly. And then Lenny kept stepping on people's heels. And then Shy William ran out of the auditorium. He ran down the hall and Gus Baloney, the janitor, had to chase him around the parking lot. After that, Principal talked to William a real long time. Plus also, I think his mother was called. I am not like William, I told Lucille and Grace. I am not even nervous of walking up on that stage hardly. Me either, said Grace. I am not nervous of walking up on that stage hardly either. Lucille fluffed her fluffy hair. My Nana says I was born to be on the stage, she said. Nana says that people enjoy looking at me because I am a feast for their eyes. After that, Lucille wrinkled her nose very cute, and then she skipped around and around in a circle. Grace and I just watched her for a real long time. Then finally, Lucille stopped skipping, and all three of us hugged, because we are the bestest three friends I ever saw. Graduation week went by very fast. Friday night came in a jiffy. I felt so excited I couldn't even eat my dinner that good. I got down from my chair and I ran all over the house. Settle down, said Daddy. Settle down, said Mother. Settle down, I hollered. And then I laughed real loud, because I'm a hoot, that's why. Finally, it was time to go. Mother got my graduation box off the top of the refrigerator. I jumped up and down. Let me carry that, Mother, please. I want to carry my box to room nine myself. Mother handed me the box. Then Daddy said, settle down again, and all of us drove to my school. Grandpa and Grandma Miller met us in the parking lot. I hugged them. Then I zoomed to room nine, speedy fast. And guess what? All the children were there. They were all getting ready together. I ran through the door. It's me, people. It's Junie B. Jones. I am here for graduation. Lucille and Grace came rushing over. They were already wearing their caps and gowns, and they looked marvelous, I tell you. Hurry up, Junie B, said Lucille. Hurry up and put on your cap and gown. Our teacher is going to take our picture. Yes, said Grace. Hurry, hurry, hurry. She grabbed my box away from me, and then she took out my cap and gown. Then she did a gasp. <gasps> Junie B, what happened, she said. What happened to your cap and gown? Oh. My stomach felt squeezy and sickish because it looked spottier than I remember. Put it down, Grace, I said. Don't show people. Lucille laughed. That's so silly, Junie B, she said. How can people not notice? You colored big purple splotches all over your graduation gown. I did a huffy breath at her. <sighs> Those are not big splotches, Lucille. Those are purple polka dots. Just then, some of the children heard me yelling and they turned to look. Great, Lucille, I said. Now look what you did. You called attention to myself. After that, I quick grabbed my graduation gown and I ran to the back of the classroom. Just then I heard a voice, Junie B. Jones. I looked at the front of the room and it was my teacher. She stretched her neck to try to see me 
Is there a problem back there, Junie B. Jones? I shook my head real fast. No, no problem back here, Mrs. Nope, no promise. No problem, I promise. Please do not come back here. Mrs. came back here. And what do you know? All the students in room nine came with her. Mrs. took my cap and gown out of my hands. The children laughed and laughed at that thing. What kind of dumb gown do you call that, said Meanie Jim. <laughs> I know, said Polly Allen Puffer. It's the kind of gown a clown would wear. Yeah, shouted Jim. It's a purple spotty clown gown. After that, everyone started laughing, and the laughing got louder and louder. I put my hands over my ears to keep it out of my head. I tried to tell them what happened, but I couldn't talk that good, and my nose started to run, and finally, I started to cry. And guess what? Nobody laughed anymore. Do you think they felt bad that they made her cry? I hope so. Well, tomorrow, it will be time to read our last chapter. Chapter 9, The Time of My Life. And I have a special little surprise for you when I finish reading this book tomorrow. You have to wait and see when you come back tomorrow. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.